All right, so today marks the release of The Predator in theaters. Uh, I'm not too hyped for the movie, honestly. I do want to get the figure from NECA and review it for the channel. However, the movie, I don't know, there's a lot of controversy behind it, and it kind of turned me off to the film. But to commemorate the release of the new film, I do want to show off my NECA Predator collection. <laughs> So very similar to the Alien setup, on the top shelf I have some of the Kenner inspired releases. Here we have the Cracked Tusk Predator with his disc. Here we have one of my favorites. I just love the translucent releases from NECA and this is the Lava Planet Predator I believe. Oh, such a beautiful translucent red. If you guys like to see a review on that, do let me know in the comments below. I definitely plan to do some more of these guys. Here we have the Hive. Predator, I believe. Hive Wars? I believe it's Hive Wars. Ugh. The names escape me today because I'm just not with it. But here we have him. The nice green version. Really nice. I know they made a yellow version as well, but got the green one. Here we have the, I believe this is the Viper and the Snake Predator. Ah, oh, man. Like I said, the names escape me, but here they are. Absolutely beautiful mask. I love that mask. And there's his brother right there. Here we have the Wasp Predator. I just love the color scheme for this one. Nice blacks, yellows, browns. That neon yellow is so eye-catching. Love the mask. Very, very nice. And a little blue in there as well. And of course his staff, which is the <laughs> Xenomorph head on a, on a stick. Real nice. Here we have the Big Red Predator. Another one of my favorites, his joints are a bit loose. Actually, some of, a lot of these are a bit loose with the joints. Some of them do take shelf dives, but they managed to survive. Luckily, I have a carpeted floor. In the back, as you can see, I have also the vehicle from Kenner for the Predators. Gosh, the names escape me. Ugh, you guys are gonna kill me, but it's okay. Moving on to the first shelf, not the top one, is the Predator shelf from the first movie. Here I have the usual, you know, the. I think the first release of the Jungle Hunter. Uh, in the back we have the clear camo Jungle Hunter. As you can see there, he's kind of blending into the background, which is the point of the figure. In the back here we have the, I believe this is water camo. I'm not sure, but it's really cool. I love the blue lightning on him. Really nice. Here we actually have one of my favorite Dutch figures. It's the Dutch with the mud and the torch. Really awesome, definitely one of the better ones they released. And again, the Jungle Hunter, once again, this time it's the open mast release. I believe this came in a two pack, I'm not too sure. Uh, here we have the Loot Crate Exclusive DX. As you can see, I have two of them here. One of them I opened, the other one was a gift from a friend. And yeah, I reviewed this one for the channel actually, in case you guys are interested. The suggestion should be popping up if you guys wanna check out their review. Another awesome release because it's, once again, another translucent figure is the Camo Thermal Vision Dutch. Love this guy. And here we have the final scene with uh, Dutch after the final battle with the Predator. He's holding the mask that came with one of these guys and he's looking down at the Predator, the Jungle Hunter, once he's been defeated. And funny story actually, kind of sad. When I went to put him in this pose, I actually snapped the leg clean off the joint and unfortunately I have yet to fix it. But you know what, it gets the job done. He's sitting down in the position I needed him to. Uh, maybe one day I'll crazy glue that back together, but for now it's, it's damaged, so that sucks. But anyways, moving on. All right, so here we are on the Predator 2 shelf. Here we have uh, most of the Lost Tribe. I, I try to get as much as I could from the line, and I I'm missing a quite a, f a couple, but here we have the Shaman Predator, looking really cool with his really cool looking staff and his dreadlocks. In the back we have the Unmasked City Hunter Predator. Next to the Ram Predator, I believe, and he's a really nice blue. It's a very muted blue color, but I do love the mask on that guy. Here in the back we have... 
uh, I don't want to say the name. I, I The name escapes me, but he includes the original concept mask for the original Predator. And that's a really cool design with the City Hunter body. Here we have Boar and I believe Baby Boar side by side with their cool looking mask. Here we have the Lost Predator with the battle armor. I really wish I could get the unmasked version, but he's very hard to get. And over here we have the Scout Predator, which is basically just the Jungle Hunter armor with the City Hunter body. So yeah. Got him in the back there. He's got a really nice color wash to him that sets him apart from the original Jungle Hunter. But regardless, moving on to the front row of that shelf. Well, we already saw the Shaman Predator. Here we have the Ultimate City Hunter Predator. And I know this is getting a re-release in the near future. So if you guys would like to see a review on him, uh, hit me up in the comments and let me know if you want to see a review on any of these guys. Here we also have the Elder Predator. And unfortunately, he's missing his mandible ring. Uh, earring thing accessory. I don't know. He's not 100% complete Unfortunately, he's also missing I believe his sword, but anyways moving on and here we have the battle damage city hunter predator I love this guy. He has a mask on you know to help him breathe and he's got all that blood on him and his severed arm which does come as an accessory as well and on the bottom as you can see we have some of the extra other alien skulls from the movie. Okay, what we have here is an absolute clusterfuck, and I kind of wanted to have the AVP predators against the AVP aliens, which is why you didn't see these aliens in the original alien video that I did a couple months back for Alien Day. So yeah, here they are. I do have them, but he anyways, let's take a look here. We have the uh god, these names escape me. Ancient Warrior, I believe. We got the AVP Elder Predator back there holding his mask. Here we have the Young Blood Predator holding that staff with the severed alien head. I love those accessories. Here we have some of the Temple Guard Predators, as well as Chopper, one of my favorites. Gotta love Chopper. And we have the Unmasked Scar Predator. I also have the Mask Scar Predator, which is not displayed here because, like I said, I was running out of room and I decided just to display the Unmasked one since it sets them apart from some of the other ones. Here we have the Serpent Hunter Predator, one of my favorites. Just love the mask on that guy, just look at that. Xenomorph-esque inspired, love it. And of course, they're facing on with, uh, well, also we have the Battle Damage Wolf Predator. Unfortunately, I got this guy pre-owned and he didn't come complete. And this was like one of the early releases, so his body's kind of at a weird angle. And yeah, the early NECA sculpts and releases were pretty bad in terms of articulation, but they plan on doing an ultimate version in the near future for that as well. So I'll definitely pick him up when the time comes. And as you can see here, we have the NECA Pred Alien from the AVP R line, one of my favorite Holy Grail figures. This was actually the first NECA Alien that I picked up on eBay, and this one pretty much kickstarted my collection for these guys back when I was going through some shit in 2017. Here we have the AVPR Xenomorph Warrior. Really happy I managed to get that guy. Along with the AVP Xenomorph Warrior and Grid Alien. Along with the Battle Damage Celtic Predator from AVP as well. And I also do have the regular version of the Celtic Predator, but like Mascar, I decided to keep him off the shelf because, you know, just wanted one to represent. Moving on to the second to last shelf, here we have the Unmasked Super Predator Berserker. Looking pretty gnarly over here. Here we have the masked version as well, along with Falconer in the background, and the Camo Falconer, which comes with the actual Falcon, which is really, really cool. Love those two. Here we have the Tracker Super Predator. I like to call him Tusk. He's got those nice tusk on his face here. Really nice. And uh, I got the two Hellhounds here as well. I, uh, I definitely I got one of them and then I saw another one for a good deal. And I decided to pick up another one. So I got two of these guys. Love those sculpts. Very beautiful figures. And as you can see, these guys are absolutely picking on the poor classic predator that came with the first line of super predators yeah 
unlucky bastard is about to get decapitated. And here we have some of the Kenner inspired super predators. I absolutely love these guys, especially the color contrast with the green and the blue. Here we have Scavage over here on the left and the Nightstorm Predator over here on the right. And last but not least, on the bottom shelf here, we have some more, I guess, extra Kenna releases that they have. And yeah, I got the Bad Blood Predator over here, the original release, as well as the Enforcer Predator, which has a very nice cell shaded look to him. Let's see if I can get my camera to focus. There you go. Look at that guy. Love the silver on his mask. He definitely looks like a cop. And uh, I believe these two are also getting a two-pack re-release in the near future with uh, extra accessories and unmasked versions as well. I probably will pick those up. In the background here, as you can see, we got a nice blue-looking predator here. And you want to know something funny. It's a, This is actually the Hive Wars Predator, not the green one I showed you on the top shelf. That one is the Green Renegade Predator. Yes, my mistake. I do apologize for that, but this is the Hive Wars Predator. He's got a really cool looking weapon and a really nice blue hue to him. Love that guy. Another one of my top favorites actually, and I made probably top 10 Predator figures, is this Ghost Predator here. And you can't really see it on camera right now, but the cool thing about this guy is that he has a very nice pearlescent silver dry brushing and it's absolutely beautiful. Oh man, if, if only you guys wanted to see a review on this guy, uh, you could definitely see it in that. Oh man, he's beautiful, love him. In the background here, as you can see in the camouflage, we have the Ambush Predator, and I know this was a, an exclusive for some event, very reminiscent to the original Kenner release. Over here we got this orange badass right here with these tendrils coming out of him this is the clan leader predator and he's using the elder avp sculpt but you can see this guy's got so much personality and color to him he's definitely a step above the rest love this guy he's definitely front and center on this bottom shelf and over here on the right to him, we have the Scar Predator with his mask on. He does come with the unmasked head, but I decided to display him right now with the mask because I like it. This is from the Concrete Jungle video game and I believe comic book as well. Really, really badass looking figure. Look at that. All his weapons and shit. Fucking awesome, man. In the background here, we have the Spike Tail Predator. Another really badass release with a lot of accessories. I actually have two sets of his accessories. I don't know why, but the seller sent me extras of his accessories. And what's cool is I could put a gun on his back as well as on his arm. And over here we have the Stalker Predator. He glows in the dark. Yeah. In case you guys don't believe me, check this out. Take the light away after blasting him with some of it. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Oh crap, camera's actually picking him up. Wow, beautiful. After blasting him some light, he just glows wonderfully. So yeah, that's pretty much to show off my Predator shelf for the release of the new Predator movie. I definitely plan on picking up that Fugitive Predator if I could find it in a shop somewhere. If you guys like the video, don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe. If you haven't already, hit that little bell icon so you're up to date with any future video updates and uploads of mine. If you would like to get more involved in my channel, definitely hit me up on Instagram. I do some polls on there for future reviews. As a matter of fact, the next review for this line is gonna be the AVPR Pred Alien. So be on the lookout for that. Hope you guys enjoyed this collection update video and I really enjoyed doing it for you guys. I'll see you all soon and have a good one.